Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable crouching in your game animation sam sample project. Um, this project will be available on my Patreon. It's free for everyone. And it's just a regular project that comes with crouching if you want to download it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just head over to my character like so. So I'll just go to my world settings, drop down, select the game mode. Next to default pawn class, I'll look for my CBP sandbox character. And if you don't see your world setting by default, head over to Windows and make sure world settings is checked, like so. And click on this magnifying glass to find it in my content browser. Double click to open the blueprint editor for this character. And now down here, you'll see this red comment that says sprint and crouch. Coming in 5.5, I'm just going to connect this triggered, like so. And I'll just add some little text for myself saying key bind is C. And I'll just hit compile and save. And now back in my... Default level map, I'm going to head over to content and then characters, then UEFN mannequin, and then animations, motion matching data, and databases. And in here, you'll see a folder called dense. We're basically just going to have to duplicate a few of these and just replace the animations with the crouching ones that already come with this project. So back here in my databases, I'm actually just going to right click, create a new folder called crouch, just so I know which ones to copy paste over or just duplicate and move it over to my crouch folder from here. So I'm going to look for the dense stand idle, hit control D on this, and I'll just leave this as is and just move this over to my crouch folder. And then I also want to look for my run idle. So here's one called run loops that I'm going to duplicate into my crouch as well as run pivots. And then there's also run stops, also run starts and run stops. So now that we have our five copied over, I'm just gonna replace the name um, with, I'm gonna get rid of the one at the end of each of these and replace stand with crouch like so. And this is just so it's easier for us to search for these later on when we need to reference this asset. So now I'm gonna open each of these up and hit control A and just delete anything that's in here. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. So I'll delete all of these. We just wanna empty these out just like that and like that. And like this. And now that all the in, all the animations are deleted from these, I'm going to hit Control Shift Save. And now I need to go over to my UEFN mannequin animations. And in the idle folder, I'm going to look for all the crouch stuff. So I don't need this crouch loop. So I just need to copy these first five right here. So the break 01 to 05. And just drag it into my crouch idles. Just like that. And now when you hover over all of them, you'll see all five types in here. Like so. So I'll hit Save on this one. And I'll go back to my default level and above in animations, I'm going to look for the crouch work in progress folder. And now I can look for the loops as this one's called. So in this search, I'll just look for loop and I'll just control or just look for all of them, drag them in this, drag them in this one, drag them into this pose search database like so. And then I will go back and the next one is pivots. So I'm going to look for pivots and then Left click the first one, shift left click the last one. So it selects all of them and I'll just drag it into my pivots like so. And that looks good. And then the next one is my starts. So I will select all my starts, drag it in and then my stop. And then I'll left click all of them or drag all of them in here. And that's that looks good. All of ours has animation inside. So I'm going to hold control shift save to save everything. And now I need to go into my chooser table so what i'm going to do is head over to my uefn mannequin and I'll, let me get rid of the search so i can see everything animations and motion matching data and i'll select this one that's called cht underscore post search database dense and now over here i just need to add a row which is going to be an asset and now while this is open i'm going to hit add row and select the nested chooser and for this i want to i want to look for a new nested chooser and call this um Let's call it crouch idle. And then I'll add another nested chooser and I'll call this crouch movement. And now I'm going to hit edit next to crouch idle. And now I can adjust these values next to our crouch idle. So for this under stance, I'm going to select crouch. And for the movement as well, I'm going to select crouch. Both of them will be on ground. First one will be idle because it's crouch idle. Second one will be moving because it's a crouch movement. And the last one will be any for both. So I'll just double click this or click this twice until it says any. And now next to crouch idle, I'll select this edit button. And now we can choose our post search databases that we created up here. So I'm going to click add row and add an asset. And I'm going to look for those crouch idles that we have. So I'll select this one 
and I'll add another asset and this chooser or this, this will be the crouch stop just like so. And I'm going to add a column here, which is going to be a float range column. And we're going to select this bind drop down. And then I'll go to my ABP sandbox character and I'm going to select, uh, nope, never mind. So for my crouch idols, I'm going to select the range of zero to 10. And then for the run stops, I'll do something like, um, 10.1 to 99 and hit save. And I'm going to go up the breadcrumb to my post search database stents. And then next to crouch movement, I'll select edit. And now I'm going to add the rest of the other assets that we made. So I'm going to look for the loop. Let me look for crouch loops. And then I'll add the other asset, which is going to be our crouch start, our crouch start and our crouch pivots. And I'll add a column. I'll add two columns, which are going to be Boolean columns. So these two Booleans will be, we're going to look for a Boolean called is pivoting. And then the second one will be is starting. And now all I need to do is select, is set this one to true because this is our start. So we need is starting to be true. And under pivoting, we need our pivots to be true like so. So I control save and go back up the breadcrumb and I can actually close out of this. And now when I hit play and full screen this, you'll be able to see that my character can now crouch and move around with motion matching enabled. And that's how you crouch in your game animation sample project. Thanks for watching Code of Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.